Ghost Recon Breakpoint, guys. Finally, I uh, revealed it today. Let me just say, I'm excited. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys will know that when it comes to a co-op experience, I don't think you can beat it. I think you can take a mediocre game, throw some co-op in it, and it becomes a great game. Um, <clears throat> Ghost Recon Wildlands, I had a blast with that when it first came out. Running that with uh, Captain Spaulding, uh, Jado, just had a blast running that game uh, over on the PC. I have it also on the PS4 Pro, but I don't think I played it that much on console. But anyway, I love the first one. I love the old school memories of Ghost Recon. I can remember back in the 360 days playing with a guy by the name of the Inevitable 24. I don't know what ever happened to him, but uh, he and I used to run some shit on the multiplayer back on uh, Ghost Recon, I believe... What, you guys have to help me out in the comments. Which one was that that was out on the 360? Was that um, Advanced, Warf Advanced Warfighter or something like that? Anyway, um, that one was a blast. And like I said, I love Wildlands. I loved Future Soldier. I thought that was awesome. I actually just picked that up not too long ago on the PC, and it still holds up to this day graphically. It looks awesome on the PC. And with the co-op. You know, obviously, it's just an absolute blast. But they added some new mechanics. I've heard that the animations, the movement, and all that has been overhauled on this version of the game. Um, I've heard that there's an actual progressive injury system, which I also think is awesome. So if you're shot in the leg, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to maneuver around a lot less more accurately on the battlefield. It's going to take you a little while longer, you know, to get into cover, to move. So you have to adjust accordingly. If you get shot in the arm, obviously you're not going to be able to shoot as accurate. So I think that's awesome. Definitely a cool mechanic that will be interesting to see what all elements you have to play with with that. Also, it's going to have... Um, elements of survival elements where you have to find your survival stuff no more supply drops and that kind of thing no more drops period from what I'm taking so you have to find whatever you need to uh, survive in the battlefield this is also awesome no more walking around um, to get into certain camps if you've got the uh, fence there or any kind of metal you can just grab your torch and cut your way through I think that's pretty cool so anyway I'm liking what I'm seeing guys so far this is obviously a day one buy um, I'm not sure, definitely on the PC, but maybe if there's some people that want to play it on the PlayStation or the Xbox, holler at me, and I'll uh, definitely pick it up on either one of those platforms or both. It just it doesn't matter. So anyway, um, that's where I'm at with it, guys. A couple of you guys hit me up already in my DMs on Instagram wanting to know what I thought about it. That's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Graphically, it looks amazing, and I know that these uh, this footage isn't going to do it any justice, but graphically I thought Wildlands looked awesome and I think this looks like it's going to be even better visually so let me know what you guys think in the comments section I'm going to get back to some days gone I got to get that finished up before Rage comes out this week and um, I'm going to let you guys go chime off in the comments got me 360 and if you didn't get a chance go over and check out the solid cast that we had uh, yesterday it was a great cast you got Vic you got Rev Blaze uh, Baron it was uh it was a good cast. So go over and check that out if you could. Show some love. And I'm going to holler at you guys a little bit later. Gotti360. Keep it gaming.